Okay, today I'm going to show you some alternate chords that you can use when you're playing blues on a four string cigar box guitar. This guitar is tuned to open G, which means I'm using the fifth, fourth, third, and second string of a regular electric guitar set, and I'm tuning the A string down, which would normally be the fifth string on a six string guitar. I'm tuning that A string down to a G, and I'm keeping all the others exactly as they would be on a normal tuned six string guitar. In other words, the A is tuned to G, the D stays as it is, which is D, the G stays where it is, which is G, and the B string, which is the second string, stays where it is, which is B. So this is an open tuned four string cigar box guitar tuned to open G. And I'm going to show you how to play a couple of chords differently than most people play them. Normally on a blues you have what's called a 1-4-5 progression. You have the one chord, which in this case is G. You have the four chord, which most people are going to either bar or use a slide, and that's a C chord. Then you have the five chord, which is a D chord. So I'm going to show you how to play both the C and the D chord in a different way, and it kind of adds a nice different sound to it, and it's easy to do. The first chord is an alternate chord for the C chord. And you put your first finger on the first string on the first fret. You take your second finger and put that on the third string second fret. And you strum all the strings. You can substitute that chord for this chord which is a bar chord on the 5th fret. So you can use that for a C chord, in other words, or the 4 chord. Now, if your guitar is tuned to open A or open D or open E, however it's tuned, these chords still remain the same on a 4-string guitar. So this, in other words, in the key of G, is your C chord. It's actually a C with a G on the bottom of it, but you can substitute it for a C chord. And if you're in the key of, say, A, this would be your D chord. If you're in the key of E, it'd be your A chord and so forth. So it doesn't matter how you're tuned, fingering is going to remain the same. Now, that is your, known as your four chord, which is the C chord in the key of G. That's how I'm tuned currently. Now, if, when you go up to the D chord, which most people would bar at the fifth fret, or they would use a slide to play on the fifth fret, all you need to do is jump over your second string, I mean your second finger, jump over to the next string. So what you've got is first finger still remains on the first string first fret, and your second finger goes to the second string second fret. That can be used as a D chord. You can substitute that chord for a D chord. So you've got your open G, which is your one, and you've got your second chord, which is a C. And you've got your third chord up here, which is your D. So that's the five chord, that's your four chord, and that's your one chord. So all you need to do to change from the five to the four is to move one finger. Here's your five chord, which is the D. Move your second finger over one string. That's your four chord, which is C. So it's kind of cool. It gives you just a little bit of a different sound than what most people use. Okay, now we're going to take that C chord and we're going to make it a C7. And all we do, if you remember the first, the regular C chord is first finger, first fret, first string. And then you move your second finger, have your second finger on the third string, second fret. And now we add your pinky, and the pinky is going to be added to the second string on the third fret. So pinky goes there, second string, third fret, and your first finger goes here on the first string, first fret, second finger goes on the third string, second fret. We're not using the third finger at all. This gives us a C7 chord. So you have your C with just these two fingers. Then you add your pinky on the third string, third fret, and you have a C7. I do this all the time.
So if I do a walking bass line like this, just as an example, then I go to the C chord, and then I add my pinky. So I actually play the C chord, and then I play C7 sometimes. And then I go back to the open G. Then a D. That's your D. Then back to the C. And a C7 with your pinky added. So the C is, is just your first finger on the first fret, first string, and second finger on the second fret, third string. I'm not using my third and fourth fingers at all, but to make a C7, I add my pinky to the third string, third fret. So that's just kind of a nice, cool change you can also add to it.